Today we're taking a look at Azul um, Axis Plus. This is a Windows PC on a stick. Um, not that much different than a Fire TV stick or a Roku stick. It runs an Atom Intel processor and is the upgraded version of the older Azul um, Plus stick that I've tested in the past and been very pleased with. Um, and it brings a full Windows PC experience to your computer. So let's uh, do a little unboxing real quick. Take a look at what comes with it. Then I'm gonna come in the same video, do some testing, and let you know my experience. Now right off the bat, so here is the device itself. Um, it's a pretty, if I can get it to zoom in, sorry. Um, small device, fits about the size of my hand. HDMI port on the side here. Eth Ethernet on the back, headphone jack. Looks like a lock right there. Two USB ports, looks like USB 2, USB 3.0. Um, a micro USB for power on off switch and a little micro SD card here on the side. So pretty nice, a little warning, this is warning, this can get hot. Um, seems like Azul puts these on all their devices and it just peels right off. So that's there, here is a micro SD or, um, excuse me, micro USB charging port, similar to many Android phones, looks like it's a a um, detachable plug there, so they'll probably ship you whatever plug fits your TV. And then lastly, um, I don't drop it. There we go. You have a HDMI cable extender, so I can plug this into this cable, and then plug the cable into my TV, which is nice because this is kind of fat, and it's likely to block the other HDMI ports on my computer. So. It's a nice little feature that they have right there. It looks like it's about you know, two feet, maybe a foot, somewhere in that range. Let me quickly undo this cable here. And it's probably about a foot. I'll extend it out, but it's perfect, you know, to just have it dangle behind your TV. So I'm gonna now test this out, but right off the bat, it's um, a few things, so it's plastic, but it feels like good quality plastic. Antenna on the side for Wi-Fi for better reception. The cable feels thick and durable there, like that's gonna last a while. And I like the distribution of the ports across the side. So not everything's right along its axis and you can even, if you want, plug in a headphone jack. The audio will go through the HDMI port to your TV. So that's not needed to connect to your TV or display if you wanna go that way. So I'm gonna now test this out, come back and let you know my full thoughts. So I've been playing around with the Axis Plus for a little while now. Now, right off the bat, it's Windows 10. It's a full copy of Windows 10. If you've used Windows 10 before, you know what you're getting into here. Um, so let me kind of show you a few different streaming services running on it. Here I got Sling TV's app. You know, it's got the Windows Store here. So I just downloaded this right from the Windows Store and you can see quickly loaded, no issue there. Um, let's jump into ESPN News, check out another um, stream real quick there. Uh, I am using the Ethernet part of this um, plugged in for uh, best performance, though I have tested on Wi-Fi and it is a great speed also. Uh, let's test out Netflix real quick. Again, using the Netflix store app here, you can find this in the Windows store and um, test it out, there you go. Hey, pretty quick, straight, um, fast loading. You know, it's a PC on a stick connected to your computer. I'll do a uh, different episode of America Dad here and see how quickly this loads. Because the last one I did was um, the, that Netflix original. So yeah, overall, as you can see, quick streaming loading. Now, right off the bat, one thing you need to know is you need some type of keyboard and mouse. It's a computer, it doesn't come with a keyboard and mouse. You can get one of those universal sticks. I'm using the K410. This is a full keyboard and touchpad mouse built into together from Logitech. I really love it, I'll link to it in the bottom. Um, if you want one, check that out. That's the Logitech K410 Plus. The re i8 is a great option if you want something a little cheaper, smaller, more remote-like. So check that out, but yeah, um, right off the bat you get um, Microsoft Edge installed here, so you can go and install Chrome, Firefox, really anything you want. Um, full start menu over here on the left, Contra support, game cards, Steam, all that you can put on here. Um, I'm gonna get this question, so let me address it. Recommend as a gaming system, maybe for very, very basic or older games. Uh, internal memory is limited. There's a few versions of these. I'll look to the specs. Um, but 
you know, if you look for a basic, you know, thing to do gaming, that'll work. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it for gaming, but, you know, if you want to use Steam's Cloud Play and stream it from a gaming PC to your living room TV, that's great. Um, Sling TV is, and streaming overall, is excellent on this, so I would recommend that. Now the question is, why would you want a device like this? Why would you want a PC on a stick? Well, my recommendation is a few things. First of all, right off the bat, there are a lot of um, cord cutting options out there still that are only available on a PC. Um, well, Twitter, for example, was a classic one. They, they stream um, a lot of great events, including Thursday Night Football. Um, it's the only way to currently stream it. Um, and when you uh, want to watch that, it's not available on Roku on many devices, though they're rolling it out to more devices like the Fire TV and Apple TV. Having a full browser here to stream that is a great option. Um, you'll find that um, there are still a lot of streaming options that are only available on a PC than on a regular one. Um, it's also though really nice. If you wanted a PowerPoint display on a TV in a lobby, this is a great option. If you wanted, uh, you know, have a computer in your living room to check emails and so forth, if that is what you, you know, if you missed the old web TV days, this is another great option for that. So overall, two thumbs up. Very powerful. Check the link in the notes down below for full specs um, and check out the different versions of what you want. But I would recommend this. Um, probably the best um, Windows PC and a stick I've ever tested, to be honest with you. I played with a few of them. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. It really does help us spread the word about cord cutting. Um, like and subscribe for more great cord cutting tips, reviews, and how-to guides. Thank you for your support.